Good morning. Good morning. Sleepyhead. <laughs> I got six hours of sleep. I got zero. And running on adrenaline. I'm running on. Why'd you do that? Your terror. Oh my. <gasps> Oh my god, I haven't showed you guys. This is my sweet ride. Look at it. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good morning. Good morning. We've already said that. Guess where we are. We are at Ant Farm, Farm Coffee Cafe. The drive here was so nice. There's that road that goes, and there's a bunch of nature just around us. This is the outside of Ant Farm. Apparently there's like a tortoise or a turtle somewhere in here. chocolate from our breakfast place but we're getting more coffee here actually supposed to be our first but it wasn't open so we're gonna head there now we were just there yesterday <laughs> yeah we found the place yesterday <laughs> all right hey <laughs> what? it's a doggy that we named okay, this is our friend Lola we just named her her name's Lola can you Lola you remember us we made a friend Alright, here is the place. Uh oh, this. Huh? Oh, it's raining. That's why I got on my lens. Okay, I gotta get. Take shelter. Come on, buddy. What? I just found out these things actually fold out to make a little bed. It seems nice to take a nap on. So I might do that. Yeah. I might go take a nap and then talk to you guys later. I'm really tired. It's pretty windy. So I didn't take a nap. I took a shower instead. And yes. Still wearing my clothes. Don't judge me. I brought limited clothes. It's raining again. Alright, so it's now 2.30 p.m. But we've been stuck here at our place because weather is kind of unpredictable here. The rain comes and goes. That's the only bad side of Pi. Right, Hi. Like Hi. Guess where we ended up at? We're at the White Buddha. It's actually quite impressive. Too. It is really impressive. It Look is at two it. Two di giant dragon boys ah! guarding. Come here. Oh, what? can you see the Buddha bugs? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We didn't prepare for this, bro. Yeah, I'm not prepared for this. Oh, that's really steep. Guys, we are so close, but we're dying. Took a little rest down here, you know. 
I think I can see it close enough from here. <laughs> <laughs> no? You want to stay here? Are you ready? <sighs> okay. We're in our last set of steps. And we made it at the top, I guess. It's really hot, though. Wow. It's harder for me to go down because my knees are literally like shaking. <laughs> Hello. We're at another location. Whoa. Wow, that's really impressive. It is. Look at that view. You know what I am? What are you? Human being. Chambutai, my dad. Chambutai, my dad. Where are you from? California. And then I was like calmed down but at the same time. I'm like, this dog's gonna eat us. <laughs> You're shaking. <laughs> Explain what's happening. Alright, so we were. There was a grass cutter operating in the background, so I'm just going to voice over this. Basically, we were trying to find this place where we're currently at, but we took a wrong turn. It was a pretty narrow street, so it's harder to do a U turn on the road. But luckily, we found a big empty space so I can do that turn with no problem. We go in and I hear barking in the distance, but I didn't think anything of it. So, you know, I took my time turning and I even almost stopped so I could look at the map to see where we actually needed to go. But I noticed the barking got closer and closer. I looked back and to my surprise, a pack of dogs, about 10 of them, were running full speed at us. Very, very angry looking. So. I panicked and hit the gas as hard as I could and got back on the street where we came from. I was looking back every 5 seconds which was really bad on my part because all I saw were the hungry faces of these dogs and it really made me panic more. I was barely looking at the road so my driving was pretty wobbly and Mel behind me was just telling me to calm down. Eventually I did slow down when we got to the end of the road but we didn't waste our time stopped there for too long and we headed to our actual destination. And here we are. Good morning. I'm about to head out. Today's the third day. I'm debating whether I should go eat breakfast first or go to the cast. Alright, we're headed off to a uh, waterfall and the bamboo bridge. It's about a 30 minute drive, I believe, to the bamboo bridge, but only a 20 minute drive to the waterfall. So that shall be fun. We didn't expect the water to be so muddy, but we honestly should have because it's rainy season. And it was also pretty populated down there, so we decided not to go down to swim. On the way to the bamboo bridge, we came across this cafe and decided to relax for a bit. I honestly needed this though because I was starting to lose feelings in my butt because it was the most intense ride I've ever done, but it was so fun. As soon as we got there, so we took shelter for a bit Hi. and there was a dog doing the same as us. It's raining hard. Yeah, we just walked like about five minutes. We didn't even make it through all the way because it was pouring. Um, yeah, we're going back now, but we're soaked. Frick, I'm resting for a bit. My hair is so soaked. I was expecting to swim today at the waterfall, but we ended up not. What are we doing? She's dragging me someplace. We are going to get our tarot cards read and see what's up with our lives and how it came to be. How we got so screwed up. <laughs> We're gonna ask people huh? for help. 
Okay. I'm okay. tired, bro. <laughs> we got dinner in town, but the tarot card reading was closed, so we went back to our farm stay. Dinner, you can have my dinner, girl. 